We are digging deeper into the death of a visiting nurse in Willimantic. Joyce Grayson was killed in October. And still, no murder charges have been filed. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Luke Hydash is live outside Superior Court in Danielson tonight, where a suspect in her death was in court on other charges. And he is breaking down where things stand. Luke. Aaron, Stephanie, Michael Reese had a very quick appearance here in court today. The case was continued to April, but in the meantime, there is legislation and a civil lawsuit in the works to make sure another death like Joyce Grayson's never happens. We intend to file suit very soon, within a matter of uh, a week or two. Kelly Reardon represents the family of Joyce Grayson. They'll soon file a wrongful death lawsuit, but haven't yet said who they are suing. They are um, very serious at this point in time about trying to ensure that Joyce's legacy becomes a positive one. This is not a situation that is um, unsolvable. Congressman Joe Courtney has introduced a bill that would enforce OSHA rules protecting health care workers. We know that will save lives. We know that, you know, in situations, you know, like Ms. Mrs. Grayson, you know, that an individual who clearly had a criminal a, a criminal history of violent crime who was you know on the registries um, you know would sort of put up flags her death was preventable she should have been here with her family and then the more we learn about this it's very clear that you should have policies to make sure that every healthcare worker every home healthcare worker should be protected Connecticut legislators are also working on change introducing bills to make sure home health aides know the situations they're getting into and are more informed about who their clients are Grayson was killed nearly five months ago our law enforcement analyst says investigators have a lot to do to bring a murder charge gathering of physical evidence and forensic evidence and all that evidence has to be examined. In addition to that, you have to interview any and every possible witness. You have reached the state of We called the medical examiner's office today. Grayson's cause and manner of death is still sealed. Reese's case today was continued to April 19th here in Danielson, but next week he will appear virtually for a probation violation. Live in Danielson tonight, Luke Hydash, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Luke.